Macbeth, how is it that you are not troubled? Why, I have heard tell that at this very moment Macduff is on his way to our castle to pop a sword in your ass. I'm not too worried about it. You see, my dear, I have recently been informed by not one, not two, but three completely insane old hags that my kingdom will see no end until Great Burnham Wood itself comes to Dunsinane. And I don't need to tell you how unlikely an outcome that doth be. Cut! <sighs> oh, hello. Excuse me. What the hell happened? I like your energy and all, but Burnham Wood's not supposed to move until Act 5. I passed out. I'm famished and dehydrated. Well, that's why we have catering, dear. I know, but every time I ask them for food, they put out a watering can, a pot of soil, and tell me to go stand in the sun. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I knew I should have given your part to Kate Blanchard. She practically begged me for it. But anyway, just that shh, you're fired. No, I quit. Um, excuse me, honey, you, you can't quit. I just fired you, Nana. Well, can't we like just pretend I quit? I mean, it's the same outcome, only this way I get to have a little dignity retention. Everybody, this talentless tree has just been fired. What say she makes like herself and leaves? <laughs> Never mind. Hey, Treebeard, which way to Isengard? Bite me, asshole! Yes? Hey, I've been trying to call you all day. Are you sitting down? What do you think? Oh, yeah, that's right, you're a tree. Well, I've got good news. Have you ever heard of a feature film called... The Void? No. Yeah, me neither. But they're shooting in Brisbane and they're in need of a lead actress, which you used to be. Yeah, I remember. How long have they been in production? Uh, I don't have that information in front of me, sorry. Look, Barbara, I've had a really bad history with feature films. Last time I got stuck playing a giant beaver. I mean, it's a step up from where I am now, but... Flights and accommodation all paid for. Five-star hotel. Room service. Spa. Get me on a plane. People are always asking me if I know Gustav Bugansky. Facts! Actually, they're not, but I'm sure that's something Gustav would love to believe. Sorry? Where were you? I called your name two times! Are you having another one of your episodes or something? No, I'm just phoning up on the script. Look, I've got a tree in the foreground. It's ruining my shot. You can get rid of that, right? Well, can you shoot around it? Hmm. Can you answer my question? Uh, it's possible, but... Great! Let's shoot! The truth is, Gustav is an asshole. And despite helming a theatrical production about a chimney sweep who loves children and a commercial for his uncle's homebrewed foot fungus cream, he remains, astoundingly, an undiscovered non-talent. Can you get rid of the tree? Yeah, if I shut myself away from human contact for a week like Gandhi, heaven forbid he should wait the five seconds it takes for Ed to move the camera two feet. No, let me devote a week of my life to rubbing out a freaking tree! Speaking of that, did you know that the African rainforests are disappearing at a rate of 60 acres per minute? God, I wish this rainforest would disappear that quickly. I'm collecting donations for the Save the African Rainforest appeal if you're interested. Nearly, I can't even afford to feed my hermit crabs. They're like... dead. What? Fex, your hermit crabs died two weeks ago. I couldn't tell you, so I removed their corpses and filled their empty shells with miniature motor cars so you'd think they were still alive. No wonder they were suddenly so active. Sorry. I thought you'd figured it out when I made you that crab meat sandwich. Ed, save the rainforest. Sorry, Mill. You could ask Gustav over there, but I'm not sure what sort of response you'll get. You guys hear about Peggy? Gustav's finally replacing her. Oh no, really? Yeah, says it's getting too hard to disguise.
If we rub the sticks together, boom, and the aliens will fly back. I've had enough of your attitude. But I'm in love with you. Ah, oh, I ate too much sausage. Oh, great. And after I spent the last two months digitally depregnifying her, this is bullshit, Ed. Yeah, especially since it's Gustav's fault she's pregnant in the first place. That's a scandalous rumour based on zero substantiated evidence. How's umbrella duty, Wilton? I think I saw Gustav's left ear catch a couple of rays. You better watch that. Scorn all you like, Edward. Thanks, Wilton. I think I will. When Gustav is receiving his long overdue Academy Award, who do you think he will name as the one who was there every step of the way and helped him complete his magnum octopus? The little twerp who held the umbrella for him. Wilton, I don't think Gustav realises he's doing it, but he treats you like a neo-Nazi pawnbroker treats a stone-broke Jewish heroin addict. Yeah, you wish. All I hear is the chimes of jealousy that I'm Gustav's number two. Sure treats you like a number two. Him? What about me? I'm supposed to be the editor on this feature and right now he's got me spending my free time cutting Peggy's ultrasounds together. Vex, Peggy just spewed up on your car again. <sighs> Thanks, Mel. Let me know if she takes a shit on it. You right there? What draft is this? I don't know, the one with the Scarlet revisions. Scarlet? I thought we were on Crimson, draft 66. No, we're on draft 68, Rouge. What is wrong with you people? No, we're up to draft 83.4, Epsilon, revision code beige. You know, I think I figured out why those trees in Africa are disappearing. How can you read beige text against white paper? Simply hold the page over a naked flame and the text is revealed. That's why I've always had a lighter with me since draft 74. I suggest you all do likewise. He's covered the entire spectrum now. Pretty soon we're going to need UV lights and infrared goggles to read this thing. Wilton! Wilton! Why am I in direct sunlight? Ah. Ah! Epsilon! <laughs> well, hasn't he heard of using protection? What kind of skank sleeps with the director? Yes, yes, but they ended up getting married right after Temple of Doom. Look, I don't care if she is the mother of his child. That suite was supposed to be mine. Hang on a second. Look, it's easy. Kill this guy, kill that guy, take the potion, collect the bonus, and exit the castle through the mystic pool of hoodoo magic. Hmm? Listen, Barbara, I did not quit my job as a tree to come to Brisbane and get treated like dirt. Sort this out. I want that spa! Can you be my mum instead of my real mum? Hey guys, back from my week with... Back from, back from my weekly supply run. Hey, I think I swallowed a key. Come check this out. I'm designing a new lens. It's going to make pregnant people look normal. I'm calling it the abortionist. Did you hear what I said? I think I swallowed a key. Come on. It probably just fell off in the back of the car. Coming. Surely you are mistaken. After all, you are only three days pregnant. No, it's coming. It's coming. Bleh. Mein Gott, it is son of Gustav. Where's Fix? I need an apprentice six months of work on the film so I can wipe my ass with it. Oh, look, there's Fix's car. Bleh, 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 bleh. Hey, Fix. <laughs> Who is it? Fex. Guess who Gustav just put in charge of documentation. You sure? No. Me. Me! <laughs> you sure that's wise? Remember a couple of years ago when he put you in charge of contracts and you printed out the entire internet?
that was pretty epic. Made the paper. Yeah, I think I read about it online too. Yeah, I probably should have just unplugged the printer. But anyway, I think I'm well on the way to being crowned first assistant director. Now who's being used? Hey, did you get me some boxes? Yeah, the ones you like. Polyester. I even cut off the tags too, so they won't give you a nappy rash. Champion. Let me know if they're not right, because I can take them back when I'm returning your videos and picking up your dry cleaning. Mm -hmm. You're the best. <sighs> 12 years. Why have our faces changed, but not our bodies? Don't ask me, it's his photo fantasy. Hey Fex, guess who Gustav put in charge of documentation? You just told me that. Oh, goodbye my Coney Island baby. Farewell my own true love, true love. Millie, I've got some great news. You're making a donation to the Save the Rainforests appeal? I... Uh, I can't afford it. I just spent my last savings on Fex's new underpants. Of course you'd feel that way. Meanwhile, it's just another day for you and me, in paradise. Okay, I can get some cash out tomorrow then. You just take my whole wallet. Must have left. No. Oh. Although I almost did leave seven minutes ago when there was no answer. Oh, hey Gustav. And what brings you to our humble abode? Hi Gustav. Had to find another place for our new starlet. Peggy will be staying in the hotel suite for the remainder of her gestation. I thought she already had a place. Fex, what kind of father would I be if I let the mother of my firstborn stay in some crummy share house? You mean like this crummy share house? Uh, could you imagine? Poor Peggy. Anyway, I found a place for the new girl, so it's all taken care of. Now, I want you guys to make sure that she gets settled in, okay? Sure, when's she coming in? Can someone give me a hand with this, please? Ed, help her, would you? We don't have a spare room, though. Which one of you has the largest bedroom? I do, Gustav. Not anymore. You're sharing with Fex. New girl's got your room. Here, take this. Oh, thanks guys, I appreciate it. It's not so bad. It'll be like a sleepover every night. I'll get my pillow. See you, Gustav. So when you said you'd found a place, you meant you'd found our place. Is there a problem, Fix? <laughs> well, I mean... I didn't say there was a problem. Well then, get that stupid look off your face. And don't be late to set again. Gustav, do I even need to come to set? I really only deal on the post... 7.30 okay? I could... I'll could, i could come, I'll get up at 5.30, that should give me plenty of... Have a pleasant night. So, this used to be Wilton's room, but now it's yours. Wow. It like already looks like a girl's room. My room in Melbourne was more masculine than this. Well, I don't know about girly, but I have tried to go for that Mediterranean meets feng shui motif. But it's always tricky walking that fine line between classic and retro. <laughs> ah, save the rainforests. Good cause, that. I know what it's like to be part of the scenery. So what's your name? It's oh, I... Wilton. Huh? Not you. Uh, I'm Lou. Nice to meet you guys. Lou, as in toilet? <laughs> So, uh, who are you guys? I'm Millie, 
That's Ed, Wilton and Fex. Fex? As in that's some stupid made up nickname that has nothing to do with your real name, which is probably so embarrassing that you wish you could change it, but you can't because you're afraid you'll offend your mommy if you do. Well, let's put it to a vote. Does anyone else here think that my nickname is stupid? Well, as I appear to be the victim of mutiny, I guess I'll just have to go and find myself a new spaceship. Don't worry. He's just jealous that Gustav put me in charge of documentation instead of him. <laughs> stupid made-up nickname. I'll show her what a stupid made-up nickname looks like. Oh crap! That's my nickname! Who needs friends when I've got you guys? Oh, uh, did he just refer to us as his friends? I'm oh, not that desperate. Well, there's no spa, but the people are quite nice. Except for this one guy, but I think he's just upset because now he has to bunk up with a dude. Oh well, that's understandable. Yeah, and the director's got a sterling reputation, so you should be in good hands. Well, as long as he's not one of those fastidious, self-indulgent, indecisive jerk-offs who spends forever on a single project because their concept for it keeps changing. And the stuff they do churn out is a steaming pile of horseshit anyway. Don't let your imagination get the better of you, dear. Barbara, uh, how long has The Void been in production? Um, what was that you said? I can't quite hear you. You're breaking up. I said how long has The Void been in production? Oh, wait a minute. I think I just heard the phone ring. I mean, <laughs> I think I just heard someone at the door. Gotta go, bye. Barbara, hello? Captain, look! The Harbinger of Doom approaches. We must stop it before it reaches the pillar, or it will unleash the bitch queen of Hellborn upon us. Oh, I am arming the explosive device. <laughs> now I am really upset. <laughs> Sayonara. Hey, what's the deal with this photo? What the? I thought I smashed that. This is from Wilton's room. Oh, right. Yeah, we should have a copy. Look, you guys are like 11 years old in this thing. How long have you been working for Gustav? 12 years. How long have you been working on The Void? 12 years. What? This is like Hearts of Darkness times three. Yeah, but I really don't think The Void is in the same league as Apocalypse now. Not even in the same sport. What are you playing with? Is that G.I. Joe's and Lego? No. I can see it from here, it's G.I. Joe's and Lego. Oh, this? Oh, no, no, this is a this is a, uh, just a gift for my nephew. I'm just testing it out for him. Testing it out? Yeah. What, are you afraid they're going to explode when he touches them or something? No, I'm just, you know, ensuring that they can withstand the rigours and rough housing of uh, playtime with a five-year-old. Ah, oh, so you play with the toys the same way a five-year-old would. I'm not a five-year-old! Yeah, okay. Um, look, if you guys have been working on this thing for like 11 years, you must be pretty close to finishing it now, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're real close to finishing it. Oh, good. Because the last thing I want is to be stuck around here for the next 12 years. Sucker. I, uh, heard you say sucker under your breath just now. Should I be concerned about that? say anything? Yes, you did. I heard you. Oh, just then? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I said, um... Thunder. You said thunder? Yes. Why did you say thunder? Uh, why are you invading my privacy? The reason why you said thunder just now is a private matter. Is that what you're saying? Well, you don't see me going around asking you why you say thunder. I don't say thunder. Yeah. Sure you don't. And even if I did sometimes say thunder, that would be none of your business. You've got some nerve insinuating that I, of all people, go around saying thunder. <laughs> hey guys, having a friendly getting to know your chinwag, I see. <laughs> Don't 
Tell them I stop here. So, Fex stop. And... Sorry, Larry. Gonna have to stop you right there. Fex and I need our 40 winks. I don't know whether anyone's told you yet, but Gustav's put me in charge of documentation. Starting tomorrow. I was told. By you, in fact. Gosh, it's incredible how fast word spreads. Oh, shit. See you guys in the morning. Thunder. I should warn you, I have a penchant for talking in my sleep, among other things. Other things? 101 things you can do while sleeping. Sleep walking. Sleep sitting. Sleep jogging. Sleep swimming. Sleep poker. <laughs> Watch that poker face. Sleep quadratics. Sleep shaving. Sleep smoking. Sleep driving. Sleep sex. Other things? Wilton? I have a passion for talking in my sleep. She cannot possibly resist you. Shut up! What? What do you want? Do you know what time it is? I'm jet lagged. I know exactly what time it is. It's 162 minutes until 5.30 a.m. I know this because I've been counting the minutes until I no longer have to share a bed with Wilton, the sleep talking key regurgitator. What? Why are you two sharing a bed? Uh... I didn't mean we're sharing a bed. We're not sharing a bed. I'm in the bed, he's on the floor. We're not sharing a bed. That would be weird. But what is your problem? You! The world and everybody in it! There's no justice. Everyone's out for number one and everyone's an asshole. And I'm always on the losing end. I have a bachelor's degree in film and screen media. If anyone should have a big bedroom, it should be me! I've got two bachelors and five diplomas. I'm so not impressed. Well, someone likes to talk themselves up to the shame and embarrassment of those around them. That being me, currently. Look, I don't have time for this. If you want the world to change, why don't you start with the man in the mirror? Him? He's a freaking asshole too! On this, we agree. There is an evil presence in this house! Where is Lou? Down the hall to the left. No, where is Lou the person? Oh! Right here, with us! When are you actresses gonna stop puking all over my shit? Everybody was actresses fighting! Turn the other cheese! Who do you love? Satan! No! <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. Why am I getting my ass kicked in my own Kung Fu Exorcist fantasy? Brother, you got some serious self-esteem issues. <sighs> oh shit! Is there something else you wanted? Fex. There is actually... Oh, Lou. If you find you're having the worst sleep of your life tonight, 
you should know that we've got spare pillows and blankets in the linen cupboard just on the left here. We don't have an electric blanket. We do have an electric pillow, but I wouldn't recommend it if you've got sensitive teeth. Bex, yeah? I'm not really sure what you're hoping to achieve by coming to my room in the middle of the night. You appear to be on some sort of personal crusade to irredeemably humiliate yourself and permanently crush any chance of me ever having the slightest bit of respect for you. But if you want my advice, and you do, I would quit now before we somehow manage to plummet to an even lower depth. Fex? Are you coming back to bed? Everybody was anxious and fighting My hair was caught under me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs>